And let's see, next video I wanted to check out was by More Pegasus. Did I already share this on the video? Yes, I did. More Pegasus uh, with an update on a lady I freaking haven't thought about in a minute. I didn't even know this was still a thing. Bro, I remember this lady, the pink sauce lady. Y'all remember the pink sauce lady? This is wild. Let's check it out. Apparently, she is back. And not only is she back, but she's already lost everything. <laughs> Freaking A, what happened, dude? Now, I gotta be honest with you. I remember this lady, and the reason why this lady don't sit right with me is because she made a product that had absolutely no kind of safety measurements done to it, no kind of quality control, no kind of FDA approval, no kind of nothing. And when she got called out on it, she actually shamed publicly on a talk show, along with the host, by the way. So screw the host of that talk show, too. They, like, publicly shamed that lady who was, like, asking for, like, real legitimate, like, health concerns. So, honestly, I don't mind that she's, like, down, basically. Because she was freaking mean. She was freaking mean, and she was poisoning people, and she was giving a bad product to everyone. Uh... That being said, if she would have came back and made, a, like, a really good product and actually apologized, like, made good on stuff, I would be supportive, but that never happened. Okay, we gotta talk about the Pink Sauce Lady. So, quick recap, Pink Sauce Lady is a TikToker who one day decided to create a radioactive biohazard borderline poisonous food item called Pink Sauce. And because it's TikTok, obviously the dumbest shit goes viral, and then she saw the attention it was drumming, and she decided to sell the sauce. But instead, ended up trying to mail people Twenty bucks milk, a pop. and it was this whole saga, right, of colossal mess-ups. She even got called out for not knowing what the FDA is and she was selling a food product. What do you mean FDA approved? I don't sell medical product. After that's that, she not, went on TV that's not, and absolutely embarrassed. It's food and drug administration, ma'am. Embarrassed herself in front of a critic. Then luckily for her, a company named Dave's Gourmet decided to help her with selling her product. Basically, they took over manufacturing. Yo, what is the deal with Dave's Gourmet? It seems like they are both involved in the best and the worst creator products. So I have to imagine it has to be on the creator side if it goes south, right? Manufacturing and distribution. But, but damn, have they have they, have they had some bad luck with some of these lunatics? As well. Because she's so incredibly stupid and selfish, she would find a way to mess anything up. Several months later, she tried to rebrand her sauce to blue sauce and then back to pink sauce. I don't know what the hell she's doing. She nearly killed a fellow commentary YouTuber who actually Is that tried August to uh, taste her sauce. I'm sorry, Chef Pie, but uh, no, they're both they're both definitely gross. It, it does not taste like ranch. It tastes far worse than ranch. And the question is, where is she now, right? How is she doing? Well, apparently she's doing absolutely horribly. Sunny V2 just made this video. New update, pink sauce just a officially failed and i got a lot to say about this frick i gotta watch that video now i didn't know this was in reference to something else pink sauce ain't made one sale oh, wow. this month not one single sale okay already that is a completely failing bit what happened to the pink hair this isn't chef pink chef pie chef p chef p this isn't chef p if you've not made one sale on your product a product nah, if you don't have pink hair then i don't believe you when infinitely how am i supposed to believe so in your pink sauce talking about it i mean then there's no hope at that point you're absolutely cooked your product sucks and it's time to pack it up it's probably time to move on you know get a job and probably work for a living rather than whining on tiktok chef p's pink sauce has officially failed in a series of update videos she reveals her pitiful sales figures they gonna send me a check for a Admitting she's clueless about the product. I don't know what's going on with the pink sauce. I don't know where the pink sauce at. Whilst being in denial, thinking it'll make a comeback. The pink sauce will soon be a globally distributed product. I don't know how it's gonna happen. See, now that's yeah, Chef P right there. That's who I want selling me pink sauce. 
Unfortunately, to break it to Pink Sauce Lady, billion dollar business, by the way. You expected Pink Sauce to be worth billions. I mean, you just got to be a different type of delusional at that point. It is just sad. I mean, I kind of get why she thinks this. She's from that part of the internet where... The thing is, the thing is, the thing is, if she plays it smart, she definitely can. Not by selling it to the random peons, but by generating enough hype and enough attention and enough goodwill that companies like, say, Papa John's decide to do a little collaboration and you sell you sell in bulk. That's how you freaking do it. But if you give the freaking sauce a bad reputation, then nobody's going to want to work with you. I just think you can wish things into existence. It's like this uh, manifestation thing, right? Like, I don't know how. I don't know what FDA means. I messed up my one business opportunity. Yeah, you don't do that. Somehow, you don't do that. You don't say that live billions, on, on but stream. But I have no idea how I'm going to even restore Nobody's going to want to work with you online. if you don't even know that's what the FDA happen, is. Like, that's just, that's just not good like business. in the fifth grade trying to catch Mewtwo with a Pokeball because my dumb ass did not buy any Ultra Balls before starting the fight. And I would sit there... Nah, son. I would purposefully not buy any Ultra Balls or Great Balls. If you're a real Pokemaster, you'll catch all the Pokemon in the standard red Pokeball just like Ash Ketchum does. Ash Ketchum don't use no Ultra Balls. I mean, he does like every once in a while, you know, but he's a broke boy. So he, he don't... He only gets that like... He got given a Great Ball once for like free. Like once. And I think he got a to he kind of totaled out with it. The Which was a good, 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 you know, no, 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 let's be fair. If it was a total dial, you feel me? Like, I want, I want, I want that total dial. So I would also use a great ball. It fits the color palette of total dial as well. I was still, still somehow less delusional than her. The fact that she experienced any success now seems like a miracle, as by Chef P's second video, she was already facing problems. In its very first showcase, the sauce had a vibrant appearance, but in the TikTok... See, that looks good. I don't like that one. That one looks nasty. That one looks like Pepto Bismol. This one looks like this one looks like somebody put food coloring into ranch. Followed the pink was slightly different. It's a the different. It's a different pink. This one looks. This one looks like puke. The one on the left looks like puke. Changed so much. Two days later, it was back to. That a one looks pink, even more pukey. Five days after this, it was lighter than. That one looks like cow tongue. Ever before. What the fudge? See, this looks like. This looks like like a thick Pepto Bismol, and I think the fun would the fun of it would be in the fact that you that that you would be eating it and people would be like, "Ew, you eating Pepto Bismol?" You'd be like, "Haha, it's not actually Pepto Bismol. It actually tastes good." Uh, but then this one looks just just nasty. This looks like ox guts, like before you cook them. Uh, so so no, no, thank you. Uh, this one looks like puke. I thought this one looked like puke, but then this one showed up and like. Stole the show. Like, this one looks like pew pew. Ugh. This one looks like a cow tongue. I, I, I see, because I, I, I do eat cow tongue. I work with cow tongue a lot. Uh, my father, I owned a taco business, and so we, I used to chop up cow tongue all the time. So I'm used to cow tongue. That's just cow tongue. That's just cow tongue color. So it's kind of like weird to see it. I, I feel like that's just like blended cow tongue. I don't like that. No, thank you. Yuck. Create Yuck. instant suspicion amongst potential customers. Why does it keep changing colors every video? All right, I have a theory. There's no consistent this. recipe. It's an alien. It's an alien living. Ew! Sauce. Ew! Alien what the fudge? That was changing. How's colors. that the final so product? Decided... Nah. I need to see that one more time. All right, I have a theory regarding this. It's Ew. an alien. It's an alien. <laughs> nah, you know what? Never mind. I think we found something that's even worse puke looking than that. Wow. Jokes aside, it's because she was so incredibly stupid that she didn't wow. even measure out the ratios of the ingredients in her product. Meaning each time she made a, wow. a TikTok video to advertise the product, she would just kind of wing it every single time, not realizing that she's creating a different product every time, and that's not how a product should be. It's supposed to be consistent. Why was it pink? How did she make it? It. Most importantly, what did the pink sauce taste like? Chef P Bro, it's like you don't even gotta go that ham. It's like, okay, let like make a make a, a sauce base. Like, I don't even know what you would even like use as a base for a sauce, but like at that point, like if, if you're gonna make it like spicy, make it like I don't know, some kind of peppers. And then like add like dragon fruit, like the pink, the pink dragon fruit specifically. Uh 
and then like have some kind of like dot like a measured like a measured like an image that's like a measurement like this is the pink that we're looking for and then like any differences in color needs to be adjusted like you're gonna have to like put extra food coloring like red red food coloring or something like you gotta make like you gotta keep quality control on that you know Pay's friends all seem to love it. This was definitely a 10 out of 10. But she didn't describe the flavor building irresistible intrigue. Honestly, it has its own taste. If you want to taste it, buy it. Dude, honestly, so you this can't was do that. A crazy. That's like. I hate that. It's not that you can't do that. You could definitely do that. Like, do you? That's, that's fine. But I'm saying, like, at least for me, like, if you're going to tell me, hey, Buy this. It tastes good. Like, you gotta tell me something. You gotta tell me, like, this got dragon fruit extract or something. So, you know, so, so my mind mentally is like, ooh, what the hell does dragon fruit sauce taste like? Ooh! You know, and then suddenly I want it, you know? Moment in history. This will be, like, go down in the history books as one of the dumbest experiments of all time. Because how did people actually fall for that? Dude, if I freaking love this SpongeBob it, picture. Right? It, man. Hey, guys, I have this product here. I'm not even going to tell you what it is. I, it might be a razor blade. might be a poisonous frog. If you want to know what it is, you better just buy it, you know? I feel like this literally only worked because their audience was a bunch of TikTokers who are provably, at this point, one of the stupidest group of people on this fucking planet think about it they actually looked up to this woman and actually purchased her toxic freaking poison unbelievable how she even got away to be fair supplies. to be fair if i order this and i get some nasty looking thing oh that's content baby that is content for me i think i think that's a genius move actually i think you're underestimating these tiktokers by the way because if no it's a good if it's a good product then it's just a good product and you, you, you showed off a good product. If it's a bad product, you get to shit on it. You get to talk smack. You get to, ooh, it's so good. Ooh. Yeah, like, I don't you know can make like two or three. This. And if she responds to your bad video, your bad review, oh, you can even farm that for content. Did she not sell inedible food that was sent By making like your response. Hospital? I mean, that, And then response to her crime. response to like, your like, response. That just has me baffled how she is still roaming free to this day. And it was after this she talks about her epic quality testing because as we know, she obviously did tons of quality testing for this product. We are doing quality testing to ensure that we get the best quality out to you guys to have minimum to no complaints. Yep, zero complaints for the pink sauce because everyone who tried it is dead, all right? Or 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 they turned into a radioactive spider and then exploded. Now we got to get to <laughs> the best moment of Chef Pie's career was uh her reaction to hearing the word FDA for the first time and her That is scary. Like some sort of See that 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 right there? That right there like pretty much tells me all I need to know. Like, I'm not buying the sauce. I'm not, no thank you. Is it approved by US Food and Drug Administration? Well, to put it simply, no. In fact, Chef P didn't even understand what it was. What do you mean FDA approved? I don't sell medical product. The P See, this is what this is what concerns me is the fact that FDA stands for those who do not know and those who are not from the United States. Uh, FDA stands for Food and Drug Administration. This is a very quick Google search. So the fact that she's out here talking about we are not drug, like, so we don't count because we're not drugs. It's like, it, it's not that, like, this is such a simple Google search. And the fact that you couldn't even do that, like, concerns me. Because apparently, I'm supposed to trust you with your concoction of whatever the frick is in your sauces? Don't contribute to your health. Thinking the F By the way, yeah, all food you eat contributes to your health. All of it. Pharmaceutical. People are really out here buying and eating pink sauce from a woman who doesn't even know what the F in FDA stands for. Okay, okay, come on. It's one thing to not know what the FDA is, right? While selling a food product. Already horribly bad. But you're telling me she thought F is pharmaceutical. No way. The word Stop. The no. I don't believe that. That's too stupid. No. I don't think... I don't think she thought that. I think she just ignored the F and... Pretended like the F didn't exist. There's no freaking way she thought pharmaceutical drug administration. That is too stupid to believe. That is, no. 
Uh uh. P. <laughs> that, that, there's, P there's not a human P being in the world that, that that's that stupid. Pharma, right? So I hold. No. No, 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 no. Holy shit. This is a level of stupidity that cannot be quantified. I mean, you could put this woman. You, you can't. Woman in the SpongeBob SquarePants show, and she would still find a way to be the dumbest character there. And that show has Patrick Star. Pharmaceutical. That is, that's a top ten. There's internet no, I don't right believe there. that. <laughs> I don't believe that. That's too that stupid. To even give it a chance to be, you know, purchased by Dave's Gourmet, right? So I'm thinking it was either ten-year-olds, you know, using their mom's credit card, or people who legitimately wanted to commit die like that's you cannot convince me otherwise anyways after that she faked the fda coming to her house because she still did not know i love yo i just gotta shout out this one i just gotta shout out this comment die. at the end like that's you cannot convince me otherwise anyways after that she faked the fda coming to her house federal Drug Association. Okay, I was gonna say, I wouldn't believe that she thought it meant Federal Drug Association instead of food drug. I'll believe that. I'll believe, I feel like pharmaceuticals too stupid. Nobody would believe that, right? I doubt it. I doubt it. Shout out to whoever the frick this is. You ain't afraid of jail, I see. <laughs> Because she still did not know what the <laughs> FDA actually is. Probably confused it with the FBI or something like, you know, breaking into people's homes. But the oh, FBI that's my roof right now. even do that. Violence the backlash. That's a roof. That's actually my roof right now, bro. It's a giant hole. My house. It is safe. We are taking the precaution. Although people found this strange. Comments read that's not how the FDA works, as the FDA don't do house calls, forcing Chef P to admit she was lying. Turns out she'd been visited no. by Florida Health Services. Which she actually pretended like the FDA visited her? Is it the F the FDA is just like a regulatory body, right? Is I don't I I don't understand how that works honestly, but I always assumed it was like a biz like a a place where you would like submit your like samples to and they'd like do testing on it and like they would be like, "All right, what did you use? What's happening?" All right. Then they would like test it all out and be like, "All right, here is your like nutrition facts like label or something." That's how I assumed it was. Like, you know, like, like you would, like, submit your stuff, and then they would return to you, like, an approval, like, okay, you good, like, this matches, like, everything that we believe is fine, uh, here's your official nutrition facts on what we found, on what we discovered. That's how I assumed it worked, but somebody would have to educate me on that. I don't actually know how that works. In fact, I think that would be an interesting video to look up. Uh, and I'm gonna do that on the side here, uh, but I, I, I'm gonna look up how the frick the FDA actually works. Seemingly I wanna learn, to I wanna be educated on that. Bar. I've been seeing all the shady comments. There will be the shady comments. I love it. Down. No, you kind of literally have to tell us how you made it pink. To which Chef P responded, "I don't have to do anything." Chef P, you, when you, the police you tell do, her to you do according to the, the FDA, according to the laws that that govern that, you have to you have to make the ingredients known to the public. Put her hands up. I don't have to do anything. Dude, I hate, I hate how we make the absolute dumbest of the dumb go viral every single time. Honestly, when people asked her how she made her sauce pink, she should have just said food coloring because that is at least way less concerning than whatever the heck she was cooking up because Yo, I don't know, real. pink is like a hard color to produce, all right? Especially naturally. I suspect Whoa, she might have She really just like dumped an entire like she was container of olive oil and garlic know, in there, so. huh? Or is that avocado oil? What the frick? Is? That's a lot of oil, bruh. Is that all in one sauce? How much sauce are you making? A hard color to produce, all right? Especially naturally. Okay, because that's a lot of garlic, a lot of oil for like I one. I suspect she might have used the blood from her victims, you know, the ones who exploded after uh, consuming her sauce. Maybe mixed it with some milk and mayo, and then uh, that that. I gotta admit, I've never made like a liquidy sauce like this. Any I guess I make salsas. I don't make sauces. I make salsas. Have I have I, have I ever made a sauce? I don't think I've ever really made a sauce. I make salsas. I like salsas. I like a ma I like mango salsas. I like I like to make mango salsas. I was I like mango sauce, with jala with, with little Maybe jalapenos. Some time traveling to create the sauce. Before. If you ever want to make a really good salsa, just grab some mangoes, some jalapenos, some bell peppers, and some of your favorite onions. 
You can caramelize them, or you can leave them uncaramelized. Uh, I like to have the purple ones raw because the purple ones tend to be sweeter raw. Uh, and then and then and then I just like mix all that together with the mangoes and some lemon juice, like a lot of lemon juice. And then you just mix that all together with the mangoes, like chopped into little like squares, like equal. Like uh, everything should be diced. Everything should be diced equally, like equal size. And then that's it. You just like with the lemon. The lemon sauce will like become the little juicy bits, and then you can like just eat that with chips. Delicious. Try it. Before it killed anybody, that probably be be, good, probably like, better and healthier for you than pink sauce. We had the famous. <laughs> to be honest, of, uh, put some salt in it too, but you don't need. You don't really need a lot of salt. Their mail. Oh my god! Look, look at this! Ew! Pink sauce on this bitch. Ew! Ew! That son, that looks like actual throw up, throw up. How is it getting more and more throw up? The bottles that that's molded over. Still bro. extremely bloated. I'm just a little worried about it being swollen, and I don't know if this is considered swollen or not. In which it also looks like liquid tuna broken. in there. It was because the product contained milk and honey. Oh because... come on! This is why you're supposed to tell us what ingredients you put in it. Why would you put milk and honey? Wait, does honey get? Does, I don't think honey spoils. Does honey spoil? So much bacteria it expanded the bottle. Yes. Oh, maybe with milk. Maybe if you put honey in milk, do, do, do they have some kind of like? reaction to each other i guess if you put honey in with other stuff because like otherwise how would you make mead right it has to have some kind of bacteria growth because otherwise you wouldn't be able to make honey mead which i want to start doing soon so she just went about this the wrong way her mistake was actually selling the sauce as a food product which... raw okay if it's raw honey I guess, what do I buy at the, what, what is the little bear? What is the little bear? Is that raw? Is that considered raw honey? Or is that like cooked? Has absolutely no market. She should have actually Acured. sold it as a nuclear weapon. Because that way it would have been... I didn't know honey could go bad. It's like bee vomit. Like, actually. Way more successful than... How does bee vomit go bad? I mean, think about it. You, you take a little plane... You know, fly it over a town and drop some pink sauce on the town. I'm telling you, the next 500 years, people will be having pink sauce-related birth defects. Like, that's giving you no a form way. of cancer you can't even diagnose. So, as I mentioned before, people were showing up no at way. the hospital after consuming her sauce, right? So, again, I don't know how- Bro, was she- No way she was actually giving people botulism. Nobody sued her and she actually got away with it because it's such a free case to win. But my guess is that pretty much everybody accurately predicted that she was completely broke and there was absolutely no money to take from her. So that's why they didn't sue her. But man, if someone freaking poisoned me, I'd probably have a word with the law, you know? Food safety yeah. experts stated, in some cases, raw honey can cause botulism, an extreme case of food poisoning. So it's no surprise that some- Due to natural bacteria that exists in it. So it's not the honey necessarily, it's the bacteria that lives in the raw honey. Interesting. How do you avoid that? How, how do like other products avoid that? People are reporting that they got violently ill after eating the pink sauce. One person claimed it sent her to hospital. Y'all really need to stop buying these pink sauce from that girl on TikTok. Look where I ended up. Explaining the pink sauce gave her real bad food poisoning. Yeah, honestly, those people are lucky to be alive. I mean, if you've actually tasted this product, especially in its initial stages when she was just shipping it out of her kitchen or something, I mean, count your blessings. Now, I know some people were saying natural selection, right? And I get it. I get it, of course. But again, it's still up to the person's... Nah, nah. Like, it, it, that's unfair to say. Because we, we like, all these different people, and, and, and frankly, I'm going to say we here, because I, I don't feel like I would really put myself uh, beyond the mindset of the average uh, person. Like, like, if I'm being completely honest with myself, I don't, I don't, I don't think I would uh, be any smarter or any wiser than anyone else in a day to day situation. Like, if I was to go to a farmer's market, or if I was to go to like, uh, you know, whatever, swap meet or something, and some people were selling like packaged honey, I wouldn't look at it and be and be like. Is this FCA approved? Is this that, you know, it's a freaking farmer's market. I'd assume the bro packaged it from his own little bee honey hive at his house. 
I don't freaking know what the frick is going on with that honey. So I would look, I would, I would look and study it a little bit, and, and like, but, but that's like, what I'm trying to say is, I don't think I would. I, 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 I feel like I would have faith in this system that we've set up in the U.S. With the FDA, where if you go to a McDonald's, if you go to a Wendy's, if you go to any of these restaurants, you kind of have this sensation of security provided to us by the government, by the fact that they typically approve or have like these laws and these regulations that make sure that this food is actually prepared in a decent way. Uh, so when you so I, I feel like a lot of people just have this false sense of security when it comes to a lot of this stuff. You feel me? selling the product to take those safety they didn't put a second right? thought into yes, it they just assumed if you bought it you they sort of assumed this person did the the morally good thing and like ensure that this product would be safe but uh you know like what can you do this is why this is exactly why like this is just one person one tiktoker doing this imagine if we allowed this to happen on a on a on a on a Countrywide scale, if the FDA did not exist and we just let people do this, it would so many people would fall victim to this kind of stuff. Thank goodness we have this FDA stuff. We deserve at least a slap in the face. Obviously, I don't deserve to freaking rot in a hospital or something, but yeah, a slap for bad decisions. Now, her excuse for the whole thing was that it was just a prototype, right? Which she was testing on people, which again is illegal if it's food. You can't just send, send inedible food to people telling people it's okay to consume. You guys are judging a prototype. A prototype is when a product is not an official product. However See, you didn't say that though. You didn't. Say, you didn't tell people, "Hey guys, this is the pink sauce prototype. Buy my pink sauce prototype." Like suddenly, when people start becoming sick and going to the hospital, it's a prototype. However, a lawyer named allegedly Stephanie uh, explained this wasn't even legal. You cannot have a prototype of food, ma'am. When it is food, it has to be perfect, as in at least edible, at least not making people sick. No, no, no. Yeah, I, I, assu I assumed, like, I assume that's, like, against the law somehow, right? You can't just, like, I mean, there's, like, I, I, like, I, I don't know, I guess, because I assume there has to be some kind of leniency. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to, like, make beer at home and then, like, drink that, right? And offer it to your friends. Not to sell. I think it would be, I think you're not allowed to make beer at home and then sell it, I think, right? How would that work, I guess? Because otherwise, like, that, 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 that wouldn't make sense either. I wonder if there's a law for that. I, I, don't, I don't know that. I don't know. I, I guess I would refer to the lawyer. Yeah, I was just using you guys as human guinea pigs, right? So what if a couple of you guys get sent to the hospital? At least I get back my pink sauce test results. I mean, this was literally and the money you paid for it, right? So, anyways, after that, pretty much everybody caught on to the whole pink sauce scam and refused to buy it. And then you would see it, it was in actually Walmart in stores, though. Clearance being sold for like twenty five cents. See, she got it to Walmart, bro. If you actually freaking cared about your product and put a little bit more effort listen to the what people were saying right off the bat and again i feel like if you use food coloring it would have maintained its color a little bit better but i don't know enough about it uh you could have had a really dope son see i'm a, a man <laughs> you how do some people really get all like they get so far and then let it all fall apart on them bro it's funny because most of the pink sauce because of their own the actions section in Walmart for fifty cents, but somehow the bottles still fell. Further. I'm not gonna, so I'm not gonna buy that. The they're the pink they're, sauce on they're spoiled. They're rotten. For just twenty five cents a bottle. Nah, son. If I was Walmart, I wouldn't even sell it because at that point, I'd be scared of getting a lawsuit myself. It's filled with people calling her a failure, yet she'd respond by stating when they say you fell off, but pink sauce just sold two hundred thousand. Yeah, for twenty five cents. A piece. 
thousand bottle. Okay, obviously nobody can verify that number, and uh, she's known to lie about absolutely everything. So I'm gonna assume that was completely false, especially right after this because she claims that she went broke. From what I understand, the only real money she made was from Dave's Gourmet uh, paying her because they got tricked into believing that this product had a even in a success. generous situation that's fifty thousand dollars. She said she was broke and she didn't have money to pay for her kids. Meanwhile, she was. And that's still like, oh, that's going to Walmart. Was going on luxury vacations. Big surprise, she's a terrible mom too. I don't know how I much of a cut you get out of that. From my home, I had to go get twenty dollars from my mama. Pink Source creator claims she's broke due to a faulty deal. I don't even have enough money to buy my kids food. People a faulty deal. Me, so I would have to sue them for fraud. Although it turns out this was just what fraud? Fraud. Because Dave's gourmet responded, explaining that Pedro. Wait, what fraud? You, 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 you did all that yourself. <laughs> 120 grand, which Chef Pei had wasted on luxury spending. That further explained that she'd requested over $10,000 in marketing expenses to throw herself a birthday party. That's not marketing expenses, I don't feel like. Unless you're like promoting, like using it as some kind of promotion for for the sauce, and like, it, it it somehow leads to more sales of the sauce, but frankly, it, it sounds like you should have put, been putting this money away or investing it in some way. ...to maybe be featured on TikTok. On stocks. She also requested that they pay for her dress $800 and shoes $600 plus. Chef P also attempted to submit business expense reports for personal expenses, like buying four pairs of sneakers or expensing her grocery bills, but when Dave's got Attempted. That means it didn't work. Gourmet would not approve these expenses. She got upset. Oh, she tried to make Dave's Gourmet pay for that. Oh, no. What? Collaborated with them since. Okay, so obviously that's not how business expenses work. That is for work-related things, right? So you buying sneakers as a pink sauce manufacturer is obviously not a business expense you absolute tool so she was the one trying to fraud them and when they didn't accept it she tried to turn it back on them and ruin their rep you know what it's that's about what i said at the beginning of the video yeah it totally is her dave's gourmet it, 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 I, I tend to hear their name often uh in some of the best scenarios and in some of the, in the worst and it, it it seems like they, they when it's a good creator that cares about their product, they tend to do good. But you know, sometimes they just get the they get the rotten eggs. Reputation. <laughs> What's up, Dave's Gourmet? Gourmet? Shout out to me. Let's make the Mokey sauce. Actually, trying to help you and actually turn Mokey's banana hot sauce. Let's go. To a legitimate business. And It'll be the most delicious the thing you ever up, had, which is absolutely pathetic. And again, they gave you a hundred grand and you somehow wasted all that money on a freaking vacation and saved no money for your kids. That is absolutely horrible and I wish you the worst. Honestly, you're a horrible mom. So anyways, after all of this, after her constantly trying to drum up attention through her TikToks again and again for her product, it finally died and she is officially broke. You know, zero sales on her product, zero everything. It's finally over. And as of just the previous week, the Pink Sauce website is now fully deleted. On top of this, Chef P's oh, it's fully gone. was previously listed as active, but after recently checking the very same page, it now rather says inactive. I haven't seen nothing at no Walmart or no other store. And it's my business. It's my product. And I don't even know where it's at. And only that she's receiving basically zero royalties. They gonna send me a check for $121. Lord Jesus, take the wheel. $121 it's pretty much is done. generous. But it's Chef done. is still convinced she has a billion dollar business, which is a pretty crazy value for a product that's only sold secondhand on eBay. Yeah, anyone buying that product needs to be investigated. Secondhand on eBay? $32.99, it was a $20 bottle for potential terrorism or something because there is no other use for that guy. Why is it a collector's item at this point? Bro, if nobody wanted it at 25 cents, who the frick is buying it on eBay? And honestly, I gotta agree with uh, Chef Pie. Uh, pink sauce is definitely a billion dollar- That's sour cream. That's Daisy sour cream. 
That's the same cream I use at home here. That's Daisy Sour Cream. Why are you putting sour cream in that? Business. And then you ship that out to people? That's sour cream! That's sour cream! Easy. Somebody commented she's always two steps behind. Always two steps behind. There's obviously a Nick Kikado reference. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Will Pink Sauce Lady ever return? I hope not. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Sorry for the lack of uploads. I am cooking, all right? I'm cooking in silence. Don't worry. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Nah, son. The best way to do it is to uh, become a sensation on TikTok for yourselves. And then, and then, and then work with someone like Dave's, like Dave's going May. And then like, you know, like, and then like make, make it, make it a really good like product. Oh, hold on. Make it like a really good product. And then like sell it, and then sell it like in a McDonald's. Like, but uh, if you got it onto Walmart, like, bro, you had it made. What are you doing? You freaking let that, you let that slip by your freaking, like your fingies there. That's a darn shame, dude. I want to do something like that. I want to make like an ice cream. I want to make like my own ice cream. I think it'd be cool. I don't know. What should I do? What should, I, should I make candy? I feel like Oompaville got that covered. I, I say that even though I don't even have my merchandise out yet. I'm working on it, okay? I'm looking, I'm looking for an artist in particular. There's a very specific design I need. Like I want, I want a very specific style, a very specific design with very specific like requirements. So I'm looking. All right, I'm gonna send this over on the Discord. Please go drop him a like. Go drop him a sub. More Pegasus make some amazing content. Drop the video on the Discord. Uh, my bad for not checking out the, who, who was it, uh, Sunny V2 video. I didn't know, I didn't realize this was like a react, this was his take on that video. Probably got to check that one out too later on, because I, I do want to know the full story. Uh, but before I check that out, I do want to, I would want to check out a video understanding what, how the frick the FDA works. Thanks for hanging out! Like or dislike, comment and subscribe! And become a Monogachi today! I live stream all day, Monday through Friday, so go say hi! That's all for now, Monos! Goodbye, and thanks for swinging by! Saru!